Purple Beast doing another install today. Today we're doing front door speakers on a big 3500 Chevy Silverado diesel Duramax. Um, I have one similar to this on the channel already but with manual windows. This one is the much nicer model where it has automatic power everything. So we're going to show you how this differs a little bit. We're going to get the door panel all pulled apart for you and uh, show you how to replace the mid-range speaker in the door itself. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to get the door panel removed itself. Now the nice thing about this door panel is it actually, once you remove the screws, it lifts off. There's no, um, you no know, need of popping clips. So we're going to go ahead and start pulling apart the door panel and go from that point. Alright, first things first, there's going to be a screw right up in there. There's a screw right down below. There it is there. We're gonna pop this on out. We're gonna have to pop this guy off. This is just held on with clips. Now if it's easier and if this is binding up on you, you can pop this out. Now the way that it does so is if you work on the back end, it kind of slides right on out that way. All right, so we went ahead to remove. This is a seven millimeter. Under here is also a seven millimeter screw. This pops off, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like on the back of the actual panel. So you know where the clips are. You can just get a flathead screwdriver or a panel popping tool, which I've used here. It really just protects the plastic and doesn't scratch anything. So that slides on out because there's a little clip in the bottom. Once you remove those two, you can actually just lift straight up, give it a good little tug, be gentle, and you'll see it comes loose. Now before we actually pull the door panel off, you'll notice it'll get hung up on this. This just pops out with clips as well. So we pulled this piece off. As you can see the front lip, it actually clips in there. So you want to pry in the back, there's two clips on the bottom. Once you get that off, you just slip it right off the door handle and that comes free. At this point, our panel will come loose. Now looking on the back here, you're going to have a couple of harnesses you'll have to undo just so the door panel can sit freely and not have an issue. Ahead, unclipped all the harnesses, now they're all different so you don't have to worry about getting one in the wrong spot. Now these are a little bit similar, um, but they're actually labeled by color on the back of the panel. And these are completely different as well. And we'll have one down here for your little door light. Unclip that. Um, and everything comes free. Now, as you can see here, somebody's actually already replaced this with a, uh, an older version of the Type R. Uh, fortunately, they're blown. They're no good. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull these out and uh, replace them with a set of Pioneers. So just a good budget set of Pioneers. All right, so we've got the old speaker out. Now, um, just connect it. You don't necessarily have to cut it. If you don't cut the, the factory wiring of the harness, then you can actually plug it into these adapters, which is the Metro 72-4568 uh, factory retention. Really nice. They just plug into the factory connection, and the other ends plug into the speaker. Now the previous installer has already cut these, so unfortunately we won't be able to use those adapters we ordered. But to help us out with the install, we've also picked up these brackets. These are the Metro 82-3002. They clip into the factory location here and house the new speaker. All right, we've got our bracket all in here, We're good to go. Really cool, just pops into the factory location. So I really recommend picking these up, they're only a few dollars on Amazon. The speakers, the speakers we're going with today are these Pioneer replacement speakers. Okay, so I went ahead and using this little harness came with our speaker. Light green is positive. Our green is negative, so you'll hook that up according to this. Usually the negative always has the line on your adapter. Um, I used a strip both ends and used a butt connector. And it's up to you to really tape that up for just good insulation since it may see some moisture. We got our bracket in and at this point now we can mount our speaker to the bracket. Now on the other side, when you're ready to actually do that install, that side has a tan and a gray wire. The tan is positive, the gray is negative. All right, went ahead and got that speaker mounted. Now these screws came with the speaker. Nice and snug in that factory location using the factory mounting points, which is really nice. At this point, we are good to go. Um, 
make sure you do a little test before you put the door panel back together but I have and it sounds great at this point it will be just reassembly all right so I got the door panel slid back on and to its little slots so we're gonna go in and get this plate back on we'll get this cover back on and get our two screws back in make sure all your buttons are still working great and at this point we're good to go okay door panels all back on all back together just in reverse order do a little test here for you head coaches for It's a little bit of static noise just so you can verify that it works, but those speakers sound great. If you have any questions about this install, just go ahead and post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching the channel, and we will see you in the next video.